from uh, Audio Autory and then saw a brand new software uh, called The One. It's uh, we just announced it here at NAM officially. What it is is a fully modular uh, DJ software that also combines with timeline editing. I'll show you here. So if you start off, it looks just like any other uh, DJ software. Besides, you take the lock off. Everything can be freely removed, uh, moved, resized. You can go really in the detail, really uh, accurate details if you want to really go close. So it, it really gives you uh, freedom to do whatever kind of setup you would like to have. You can also add more gear from the gear menu, which you see here. So depending on what you like to have in the screen, you can have add multiple players. Even if you have two dishes, you can actually even add two uh, browsers in there. So both of you can have your own browser, both of you can have your own decks, and then you can just decide which audio goes, goes to where. These are individual audio outputs, so you can select from here where the audio goes. If you want it to go through a mixer, you click here, and then you can add your EQs, for example. So the audio can be routed out. You can also add an effect here. So I decide, okay, this deck goes to an effects. After this, it goes to a mixer, and from there it goes again back to the effects, and only after that it goes out. So it's really flexible the way you can route out audio. Uh, same thing with control, as each of these is individual, so you can decide, okay, now I'm controlling this deck with this controller. Maybe I also want to control some other deck with the same controller. So then you can just decide here, okay, this is an audio output here. And then you can also control this with the... Uh, But the really big, big thing about this is that while I'm playing this uh, track here, I can also go to the timeline edit mode, simultaneously playing this track, which means I can actually do editing in the timeline mode live while I'm actually playing this track. This. Maybe I want to move this to a position where it's playing. You can add a few points to like a marker so you can create a complex uh, like a track which is actually consists of many different clips and then you can jump uh, from one clip to another. So it's kind of advanced for cues. It's not inside one song, but you can create like a, a big huge sequence and then you can put all of those uh, markers in there. So it really gives you the freedom. It kind of combines what you can do in a, in a studio software, but all the time so playing it live. Completely uh, MIDI mappable. And then, when you're happy with your layouts, you can save them here. And you can name your layouts, and you can jump from one layout to another. So if you have different kinds of gigs, for example, then you can decide, okay, for this one I want to use this setup, for this I want to use this setup. Now there's two of us, I want to use different gear. So you can just uh, save in a loaded from here. Uh, not at the moment, but something we can, uh, something we can think of.